For this design, I'm going to put it on a um, enamelware lid that I have. But what I need to do first is to find out how big I need to make my design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this. And we have, it's about 4.25 high. I'm not going to do exact measurements, just so I can get a general idea. And about 6.25 wide. But I need to take into account that I don't want to put uh, vinyl on top of this ridge. I want my design to be centered in the middle. So I'm going to take about, see where it comes down right there? So we're going to do about 3.25 high and about 5.25 wide. So about an inch in on each one of them. And that's going to help me to see where I want to put my design in the center. And while I'm getting this ready in design space, I'm going to clean this lid with alcohol so I can make sure that it's the vinyl is going to stick to it. So we'll let this dry and then we'll go do our designing. Here we are in design space and I'm going to figure out what size I need to reshape my design here to fit on the lid that I'm going to use. So I'm going to bring in a shape and this shape I'm going to unlock it and I know that my lid is 6.25 wide by 4.25 high. Locked it again, and then I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to change this to just a different shade. And this one I'm going to make white. So my inside box, I'm going to unlock that, and I'm going to do 5.25 by 3.25. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can remember that there's a lip on the outside of that lid, and I don't want my vinyl to go on there. So I'm going to take both of these together, and I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to center them. And then I'm going to group it. So I, need, I know I need to take my sign or my uh, design smaller. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to move it to the front. So I think I'm going to do it about... For this, I'm going to leave this locked because I want it to stay proportioned. And I think I'm going to try about 2.5 high. So that'll leave, it shows your dimensions here, but I think that looks good for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my colors on the two words here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to ungroup it, and I'm going to take the U and the be kind, and I think I'm going to make that red. And then the rest of them, I need to attach these two little things here to this wording so that it all cuts together. So if I didn't attach it when you go to make it, see how these are separate here? So we're going to attach it. So we're going to go back. First, I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this box here because we don't need this box. This was just visual so I could see what size to make my design. So we're going to hide that. This black, hit your, sh hit, your sh <laughs> hit your shift key, sorry about that, and go back here. And all three of them now are selected and you're going to attach this. Okay, now we're going to come back and we're going to group the whole thing. And we are going to use adhesive vinyl. So we're going to go to make it and see how this is together now. This is going to cut the right way. And I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to attach these also so they attach the right way. doesn't necessarily mean that I have to apply them at the same time, but I want to cut them so just in the general direction. So this one and this one I'm going to attach. Now let me show you something. If you didn't ungroup this first, let's just say, let me undo that. Let me see if this was all grouped together and then you wanted to attach your two red ones here. If you hit your attach button, everything changes to the same color. So that's why you want to make sure that it's not grouped when you attach something. So red and red, I'm going to attach. And I know that this is already attached because it says that it's attached right here. So you, you can see that. Okay, I'm going to make it. 
and right here's the black at the top and then here's your red because these are so small I'm gonna cut this on the same mat so I'm gonna move object over to the black panel here so on my mat I know I need to put red down here within this size and black in here on this size so when you go to cut it it's one mat you don't have to worry about having two different mats in there obviously you can leave it that way if you want to but being that these mats and the I mean the words are small I'm gonna cut it on the same and I'm gonna hit continue and when I cut adhesive vinyl with my Cricut I use the uh, wax paper setting it works better for me some people like to use the washi I like the wax paper and then I put my pressure on more okay then we go to make it okay we're going to weed our vinyl cut this down a little smaller I don't like to waste vinyl cut off your extras Remember, this is adhesive vinyl. It doesn't weed as easily as HTV, so you really need to go slow. This is a thinner font, so it may not weed as well. So far, so good. my weeding pen and take out all those little extra pieces. This, may, this might be where you run into your problems with pulling up. This um, adhesive vinyl is Oracle transfer tape and I'm going to attempt to try this parchment paper technique that I've been seeing. It's pretty cool. So let's see how it goes. This transfer tape is amazing. I got this from um, Expressions Vinyl. There's a link to it on my website. I'm telling you this stuff is pretty cool. So let's put this down. My scraper. Trying to see, remember how they do this here. So make sure you pull this up slow. There's little pieces, sometimes I don't want to release. I guess I should have done it the other way, but maybe it doesn't matter. I'm not sure. I'll put this on here. Oh, I gotta put it where it's gonna line up. So we're learning this together. Let's see how this is supposed to be here. Oh, I got an extra piece of vinyl on there. We don't want that. Thank you. 
wish to put this here. Stick it to your transfer tape. about right Let's see if I'm doing this right here a little doodad. Yep. It's on there. We'll have to put it on afterwards. So that worked out pretty good. I like that. Huh. I'm impressed. this on our lid here. Sometimes when you have thin fonts, because there's not a whole lot of stick left behind it because it's so skinny, you need to be really careful when you pull up because sometimes I don't want to stick at all. There we go. I think it turned out pretty good. My daily reminder. <laughs>